Hello, it's summertime here in Denmark where I live. So I'm just going to do a short video because I'm actually flying off to Portugal today. Yay! <laughs> so just a short video that's going to be super effective. This is what I would do if I only have like 15, 20 minutes. All right, we'll begin by warming up. As always, you need that. And I'm sorry if it's a little bit boring to warm up, but it's necessary. Coming up on your toes. This video can be made without any weight, so you can totally bring this on your vacation, summer or winter time. Maybe you have water bottles that you can use for weights or something else. Coming into a twist. So find something, be creative. Sometimes I talk about watermelons. <laughs> They're actually quite large somewhere, uh, at least in south of Europe. So maybe watermelon to carry on as we lunch or squats. Yeah. Twisting. Getting the spine engaged. And bring those arms up. Align them with the shoulders. Three, two, one. Heels up towards the buttocks. Move the arms up and down. We want to incorporate as many muscle groups and joints as we can. Now, if you happen to understand Danish, I actually have quite a few... 20 minutes videos in Danish if you want to work out during a holiday but don't have time or don't want to prioritize the, the full 45 minutes workout I often have. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Squatting. So feet apart, toes out. Whew. I'm already out of breath. And coming up. So I do train regularly besides doing yoga. So at least three times a week. Um, this means, as I am now, let me see, 47 years old? I keep forgetting. Um, that I need to be mindful for uh, not to overtrain, actually. So I do work out in my summer holiday, but I also try to give my body a bit of rest so that it has the power and the capacity to come back. So if you are nuts about working out like me, <laughs> you might also maybe have seasons, weeks where you lower down a little bit, because then when you come back, you can actually give it an extra nudge. That's my experience. Okay, wrists. You see what I'm heading to? Plank. <laughs> so walking out oh, into your plank, getting those Maybe sore muscles, stiff muscles, moving. Walk your hands back. And then I'm going to do dynamic lunges. So I'll step back, knee down, feet up, other leg. So feet on train tracks here, small train tracks. And kind of plucking the shoulder joint in as you move. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're ready. Planking again. Now, if you don't have a, a mat or something like it, you might just do all this on some kind of towel or something if you're in summer holiday. But I'm doing a plank with my knees hovering. So it's a tabletop variation. I'm going to walk forth, forward and back. I'm going to walk to the side. Maybe I walk in a square. And you get everything going. <laughs> Not too fast. Opposite direction of the square. Let's settle for that one. Excellent. Get some distance in between your legs and going out as wide as possible to get the stretch in the thigh. And then we're going to move from left to right. Sitting down as much as you can. Now, it might not be as low as I go here, it might be lower. To me, this is such a great kind of warm up, <laughs> but also more than that. If you want more, bring the arms out to the side. I'm super aware 
that my knees and toes are pointing in the same direction. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, you can either stay where you are or, or move around plank with those legs far apart. We're gonna draw the knee in to opposite elbow. So in, wide apart, opposite, stand wide. If this is not doable on your toes, you can come down on your knees. So we are a little bit challenged in the balance when doing this. I get the knee all the way up to the elbow. Can you reach? Four, three, two, one. Let's give those wrists a pause. Okay, planks are amazing to work out with. So is lunges. We are working multiple joints. If lunges is not your cup of tea, come down on the floor, raise one leg, resting on the side. You will get into the glutes. It's not as effective as you don't <laughs> put as much weight on, but that's what we're going to do. So I was just preparing my squat, but I'm going to go for a lunge. High or right leg back, lift up and then lower down being slow and mindful. And I'm going pretty heavy as this is a short workout, so I wanna go all in. Now we are not, but probably not, body builders. I'm not in the sense that I wanna bulk up and become like super large <laughs> muscle wise. Um, I wanna look strong, I wanna live healthy, but I'll bulk up, which means that when I work out, I don't do legs days or arm days, I do full body three times a week. And you can do that if you don't go super, super heavy and if you don't work out every day. If you work out every day, I would do leg day, arm day, abs day, whatever. Last one here. So that's why I incorporated full body workout here. All right, squaring off the hips, spine tall. I might lean slightly forward, so opposite leg. You can see my spine if I can balance. I'm leaning a little bit forward, and that's in order to keep my pelvis stable. So I'm not totally straight, but I'm not leaning forward so much that I, the, the weight here of the bar is resting or pulling on my spine or my neck. That's important. It's resting on the, the scapula, the spine of the scapula. The shoulder blades, in other words. Go for five, four, three, two. So if you just have a water mill, you just hold on to it as best as possible. Or if your water bottles, bring them down by the side. Whew, or maybe you do it without. Again, water bottles, just hold one in each hand and do as best as you can the motions that I do here. We're gonna do a row and then lift overhead. If you have a heavy weight, please take a look. Make sure that your core is tight. I'm gonna lean forward, straighten in, navel in, lift the bar up to my belly, straighten the arms, lift up. Bring the elbows in under my shoulders, lift up overhead with a straight spine coming down. Quick move, elbows over, repeating. And you can see I'm actually incorporating a little bit of a, a swinging motion in my knees 
it's a lift up, especially if you're going super heavy with your bar. I like this motion because we get all of the shoulder <laughs> engaged. And the arm as well. So if you want strong arms, strong shoulders, this is one of the moves that you need to do. Not if you have any back issues. Let's go for three. Two. Keep, especially when you lean forward and rise up here, the core in, not to max, but at least 50% of max as you do this. Yay! Putting the bar down. And you might want to release things you want to release. <laughs> yes. So more into the abs. So this is what you wouldn't see typically if you're bodybuilding, you wouldn't change so, or do as many muscle groups as I do here. Put your feet up, lift up, turn your tor torso shoulders to your right side, lower down the left, switch to the other side, lift high, opposite leg down. You can bend your knees if this is too much. So tight and flat, kind of hugging in the ribs and the navel or belly button towards the spine. Lifting up super high. Now it's not uncommon as we do these things to burp, okay? Just because you're really putting a lot of pressure in a good way on the organs and also the container where the food is, especially if you just ate. Let's do four, three, that'll be quicker, faster than me. Two, and one. Okay, with or without weight, I'm gonna lift up my hip, so hip thrusts. So again, because I have it, I'm gonna use my weight because I don't, I don't bring this on my vacation. <laughs> um, Let's just begin, I can explain more. All right, hip up, hip width distance in between the knees and the feet, so not that far. Lower down, again, not too much or not too quick. And lift high, squeezing the, what is it called? Butt cheeks together as you lift up. Keep the knees the same distance, no matter how low or high you are. I just did an Instagram last week or so about what I bring on my vacation for a, for a workout, depending on if I'm just gone for a week or more. So if you wanna see that, find my Instagram, same name as this YouTube channel, Crush Yoga with Ria. Urgh. Go high and just hovering over the mat for four, whew, three, go lift, two, I feel this, one, whew. remove the bar, and you could go for a windshield wiper from side to side, to to ease up any tension you might feel in your lower back from doing this. Whew. Maybe a sip of water is the right choice for you. I'm gonna go with hand weights now. You can do the bar, it's easier with hand weights. 
I'm going to do biceps, adding on a little bit more. Ooh, okay. Oh, my, my nose. Yes. <laughs> this is real time. There are a few things I caught out, but not when my nose is itchy. All right. Bicep curls. Lifting up and stretching out the arm. So I keep my elbows somewhat by my hip. Ooh. And really try to focus on the bicep. You keep moving. So the bicep is here, probably you know. So when I lift the weight up, this will kind of move out or become thick and short. And here the muscle fibers become long. And try to picture that as you move here. All right. And I love moving slow, especially when I try to pay attention. I'm also very aware that my shoulder girdle, the shoulder joint is not moving forward. I'm trying to stand straight as best as possible. And lifting. Now, if you only have water bottles that are pretty light, this might not do a whole lot of things. You can do squats as well as bicep curls. But let's do four more. Four. Making sure you don't let go on the way down, but resist. Two more. Now, if I had the double amount of time, I would repeat all these motions one more time through, but I'm just gonna do one time because it's not a lot of time, but I'm gonna bring my weight again as heavy as you can side lunges into the legs and the shoulder bring the weight in the left arm bring it down by the right foot up pull it up over the shoulder this is kind of what we did with the rows and the overhead lifts so you can kind of pull the leg out as far as you feel like This is also going into the tricep, back of the arm, oh, the legs. Oh. Oh. Especially if you have a heavy weight, you'll begin to feel this in your shoulder. Let's do three more. Three. Two. And one. <sighs> Opposite side. Whew. Again, if there's something with the knees, you don't have to go all the way down. Make sure you engage the core as well. Always <laughs> get the core in there. <sighs> Some of you, if you're following me regularly, you have been noticing that I've had a bit of things with my shoulder. I think it's almost, almost done. So I think I had it for two months. I did something just too much through one of some of my in-person classes. Uh, so it was just, I believe, an inflammation or something like that. So I have been mindful to move it, trying to reach the limit where I felt like, oh, this is too much. I can feel some sort of pain now. And then I stopped. And I have been teaching maybe just with five kilos in my good arm, and three in my bad arm or the bad shoulder. So I have been moving less, but still not because I needed to, but because I believe that's the way that we best <laughs> get healthy again. If you have inflammation, of course, if it's painful, don't move. But if it's not painful, if you just do shoulder circles, something like that, I could do that. I would do that. <laughs> So that the whole thing doesn't just get tight and not movable. That's not good either. Two more. Excellent. So 
down on the mat again for a little bit of back things. So I have my yoga mat. I'm just folding it in half because that makes sense. If I'm on vacation and I don't have my big mat with me. Ooh, okay. Arms to the front. You're going to lift up. Maybe take a look. Going to lift up. Draw the arms out in a big circle. Bend the elbows. See if the fingers can reach. And notice what my shoulders are not doing and my arms. I'm not going down here. Want to lift up. Go forward. Thumbs up. So I turn the, my hands and the palms face up. I stay high until I lower down again. For more, you can lift your legs as well. Less, maybe just do diagonal lifts. I am not looking forward. I get neck pain if I do that. So I'm lifting my head, but just gazing slightly forward. Three more. Two. Finishing up with a little bit of core. And then I think my time is up by four. Now the intention is always to do a short video, but then it always gets a little bit longer. But I'm figuring that if you actually took on your, your fitness clothes, it's okay that it's a little bit longer. I hope you forgive me. <laughs> so again, I want to get the six pack and wall, which means that I lift my head. So lifting my head, lower one leg down, keeping the lower lumbar spine in the floor. And then from here, kind of lift up the buttocks. So I try to stay stable. I can't talk as I do this. With my upper body. And it's my lower body that is doing some action here. So it's actually the bottom of the six pack together with the obliques, the crossing muscles, that it's doing the magic here. And the cool thing is that I'm working on the muscle fibers in different ways. Four, three, lift high, two, one, Ooh, coming out on the side, last thing, I'm going to keep my knees slightly bended, but I'm all the way on the side, so the hips are stacked on top of each other, and then I'm going to go for a V. It's not the one where I bring my knees all the way to the shoulder. I'm lifting my side towards the sky. Plucking the navel in, not out, as I lift. It's hard not to move my hip slightly back as I lift up. That's fine. But we want to try to go for the side. And then when you hug in the navel towards the spine, you'll get the whole core. If it's too much with both legs, you might just lift the top leg up. Let's go for four. Go quick up, slow down. Let's do that. Three. Two. One. So much more effective to go up fast and lower down slow, I think. Opposite side. I'm just going to start with the same pace. The hand on the floor here, my palm is facing up and I'm trying to put as minimal body weight as possible on that arm because I want the core to do the full work here. 
Let's go up fast. Slow down. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Four more. Kind of the same muscle groups as when we do side planks. Last one. Excellent. Beautiful job. Oh, I hoped you liked it. The price for this video is a thumbs up, maybe a subscription to my YouTube channel. That's just a very little cost of your time. <laughs> Thank you. And if you watch this real time, have a blessed summer. I'm going on vacation now, so there might be a little bit of, of uh, unregularly uh, uploading of, of videos the next two, two and a half weeks or so. But I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Remember the thumbs up, the likes and all that. Bye.